Hey, what's going on? Attorney Session here. Attorney Marcus Session, that is. Some of you may not know, but I used to be a professional basketball player for about nine years, playing professionally overseas in international teams. Every now and then, I like to comment on something sports. So on my Sport Ticks podcast a while back, I made some commentary about the Brittany Griner situation. I have re-edited that episode and I've included it here for you. Please check out the video and remember to leave your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Let's talk Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner is a female American professional basketball player who was arrested while entering Russia with possession of 0.25 grams of marijuana THC oil and 0.45 grams of hash oil, totaling seven grams of illegal narcotics by Russia's legal standards. Now, let's talk false narratives. A false narrative is one in which a complete narrative pattern is perceived in a given situation, but it is not an actual narrative at work in that situation or observation. In other words, a false narrative is a lie. You tell it like it is. It's a lie. In Brittany's situation, the false narrative created by American media is that she was wrongfully detained and convicted. That narrative, my friends, is completely false. And here's why. There's a political and philosophical concept called sovereignty at work. Sovereignty is a supreme power or authority. It's the authority of a state to govern itself or another state. The authority of a state to govern itself or another state. It's a supreme power or authority. The United States of America, our federal government, our constitution is a sovereign authority. We're a sovereign nation. We can govern ourselves. Russia is the same exact way. Believe it or not, Russia is a sovereign nation with the ability to govern itself, create and enforce its own laws without the consent of the American government or popular opinion of its citizens. I'm sorry if that offends anyone. I'm sorry if it hurts your ideologies right now, but it's the truth. Russia is a sovereign nation. They can create and enforce any laws they choose. And if you're visiting their country, I would advise you to follow those laws. If you don't know those laws, when in doubt, don't do. I lived overseas for a number of years playing professional basketball. There wasn't a single country I didn't visit or live in where I didn't know what I could and could not do. And when in doubt, I did not do. That's my advice. You can take it or leave it. According to their laws, for the charge of possessing a controlled substance or narcotic under six grams, the penalty is punishable by a small fee equivalent to about 200 American dollars and no more than 15 days in jail. Now, had she been charged and convicted with that crime, then she would have been wrongfully detained and convicted. But unfortunately, Brittany was charged with smuggling illegal drugs into the country, into Russia. She was charged with smuggling drugs, narcotics, no matter the amount into the country of a sovereign nation against their laws. This crime punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Again, I'm only here to address false narratives. She was not illegally and wrongfully detained. She was not illegally and wrongfully convicted. It's their laws. She broke them. But again, we see how media operates here in America and other places throughout the world with the intention of producing misinformation. To what effect? To what end? Do you want to get people upset? Done. When in sight, anger? Done. She was not illegally and wrongfully detained. Now, if you want to argue that her penalties were excessive, eh, I'll agree with you. I think it's excessive. I also think there's hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Americans locked up in prisons in states all over our country for possessing small amounts of marijuana. Where's the advocacy for them? Where's the call to our political leaders to change the laws, to get some of these low offenders out of prison? There's no reason people should have marijuana convictions from the 70s still on their record, but it happens keeping certain individuals from being able to get jobs.
Where's the advocacy for these individuals? Instead, we want to feed into a false narrative. I'll agree that the penalty was excessive, even for smuggling the amounts that she smuggled into the country. Very excessive, in my opinion. If you want to argue that she's being used as a political pawn, I will definitely agree with that. I think Vladimir Putin sees this opportunity to play politics. I think he sees the opportunity to get back a prisoner who we had, Victor Bout, a Russian arms dealer, in exchange for Brittany Griner. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy she's home. I'm happy she's here. So yes, I think the penalty was excessive. Yes, I think she was used as a political pawn, but we have got to stop spreading the false narrative that she was wrongfully detained and convicted. Russia is a sovereign nation, just like America is a sovereign nation. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. See you next time.